Hi everybody, so in this question, what I kind of, um, basically we're given averages, but we're not giving the list of numbers, right? So that's the only difference here. But we have nine boys, all right, and we have 21 girls, right? Now, the nine boys got an average of 2.4 GPA, right? So it's kind of like if they all got 2.4, that would work out to be the same mean, wouldn't it? I mean, I can write out nine 2.4s if I want to, just for fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So, and the girls, we don't know what they got. We don't even know their average. We're trying to find their average. But let's say they all got X. G, you know, it's it's a, the, you know, and so so basically what we would do if we were getting the mean of the whole class is we would take all these 2.4s and add them together, right? Nine of them. And then we would take all the girl scores, let's say they're all X or whatever, right? And we'd add them together, right? And then we would divide by the total number of kids, right? Which is nine plus 21 is 30, right? And if I did all that, if I took all the scores and I divided by 30, I would come up with the average of 2.96 for the whole class, right? But um, we're trying to find the girl's kind of mean score, and we, we don't know it, right? So what, what it's kind of like is having, you know, nine um, 2.4s. So it's the equivalent of having nine 2.4 um, GPAs plus um, 21, 21 girls, 21 GPA scores of X, okay? And dividing that by the total number of kids, 30, to get the average 2.96, okay? Um, and now we can solve that equation, find X, okay? So go ahead and press pause on the video, find X, and then play the video and see if you got the right answer. Okay, I hope you've tried it yourself. I'm gonna do it now. So um, nine times 2.4, I should probably get a calculator so I don't make a mistake. But I think that's 21.6 plus 21X over 30 equals 2.96. Now I'm gonna multiply both sides by 30 over one. And 2.96 times 30. Eighty-eight point eight. So these thirties cross cancel, that's great. Now I got twenty-one point six plus twenty-one X equals eighty-eight point eight. And now I'm gonna subtract twenty-one point six from both sides. Just to be sure I get this right. So we got 21x equals 67.2, and then divide both sides by 27, or by 21, right? And um, so divide both sides by 21. And we have x equals 3.2. So what we find is that if all the girls got, you know, 3.2, in other words, the girls average is 3.2, let's say they all got 3.2, then this whole thing would work out, right? Okay, so the girls GPA is 3.2, I mean, let me just check that on the calculator, nine times 2.4 uh, plus 21 times, or 21 times uh, 3.2 is that, and then when I divide that by 30 kids, I get 2.96. Yep, so that works. So I've, I've got 9 times 2.4 plus 21 times 3.2. I got 88.8. .8. I divided that by total number of kids and I got a class GPA average of, a grade point average of uh, 2.96. Okay.